Hey everyone, this is FaZe and welcome to my channel. Apple has officially dropped beta one of iPadOS 26.2 and I have it downloaded on my iPad. This comes just a day after Apple released iPadOS 26.1 for public yesterday. And if you wanna check out all the new changes and updates that came with it, you can watch my video by clicking the link above or in the description below. Today, however, we're going to check and see what's new with iPadOS 26.2 beta one. So without any further ado, let's dive in. All right, as you can see, we are running iPadOS 26.2 beta one. Um, and then here is the build number as well. So without any further ado, let's go over everything that I saw changed with this update. So one of the first things I noticed is that when you're customizing your lock screen, you can actually now um, you know, choose how much of opacity you want with the liquid glass look and feel. So for example, we have this new slider on. So when you're in glass, you have this slider. And if you just look at the time, you can see the opacity change, right? So this is something very new and different because this is how it currently looks like. When you click it, you don't get that slider at all. You can't change the opacity. This is what you get. And like I just showed, now you get this really cool slider. So once again, more of a frosted glass look, and then this is more of a liquid glass look and feel. And it's cool that you can now tweak the opacity. All right, so the second update is regarding the news app. So when you go to the news app now, there is a designated part on the tab bar for sections. So you get sports, puzzles, politics, business, and food, right? This is something that we didn't have before. Because if you look at this iPad, which isn't running beta one of iPadOS 26.2, we don't have that section here at all that we have here, right? Another thing is when you're searching, this is how the search bar currently looks like, right? When you click on it, this is how it looks like. But now when you're searching in this new update, you get this section right over here. So basically the same sections that are on the side tab. So that's something that's pretty neat. And I feel like in the future, I can see more uh, sections being added, but right now it's sports, puzzles, politics, business, and food. So in the Apple podcast app for the very first time, when you're listening to a podcast, uh, you get chapters. This is kind of, this is very similar to how YouTube does chapters, right? Where you can kind of, you know, kind of scroll through where you want to go and it shows you the different chapters and the titles for those chapters. So you can obviously scroll and see where you want to be or which chapter you want to be, or you can click on this uh, bar over here and then see all the chapters this way. And once again, these are ones that are automatically created. Uh, users can also create custom chapters, but just like YouTube, it can create automatic chapters as well, which is very nice if there's a certain, you know, point in the video or the podcast that you want to get to. All right. So another new thing with iPadOS 26.2 is that now you can add alarms for reminders. So for example, if you're setting a new reminder, let's just write demo for now. And then let's select the time for the purpose of this. Let's just choose it to be 2.50 PM. And when you mark this reminder as urgent, it'll set an alarm. So let's mark this as urgent. Now it's asking you, do you want to allow reminders to schedule alarm and timers? You click allow and the alarm actually goes to your iPhone. So it doesn't go on the iPad, but it goes on the iPhone. It's not something that's earth chattering, but it is something that's cool to have. All right, so this basically wraps up everything that is new with beta one of iPadOS 26.2. I am anticipating around three to four betas with this version. And as always, I'll update you with everything that's new the moment these betas drop. So stay tuned to my channel, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I'll catch you in the next one.